What's going on everybody? Math with Chris. Today we're going to find the factors of 48 and there are a lot of them. So this is going to take quite a few steps. Uh, first thing we always do is bank the two easiest factors. That's of course 1 and the number itself 48. Uh, now we're going to split up 48 into two branches here onto our factor tree. Uh, there are a lot of options for our first step, but think of any two numbers that multiply together to give us 48 how about uh, 6 times 8? All right, let's start with the 6. Can 6 be broken down any further? Indeed it can. 6 is, of course, 2 times 3. Uh, 2 is a prime number, so that's all done. 3 is a prime number, so that's all done. Left side of the tree is finito. Uh, number 8, what about the 8? Can 8 be broken down? 8 can be broken down as well. 8 is, of course, 2 times 4. Uh, 2 is, is finished, 2 is prime, can't break that down any further. What about 4? Well, 4 can be broken down to 2 times 2. And, as we've already said, 2 is a prime number. Circle both those bad boys right there. And actually, we are already done with our factor tree. That went a little bit quicker than I was thinking. You can see any path you take finishes uh, with a circled prime number. That's what you want to see with your factor tree. That means you know you're done. We have a 2, a 2, a 2, another 2, and a 3. So we got Four twos and a three. Two times two times two times two times three. That equals 48. You can go ahead and check that if you'd like, but it does, I promise you, 48. Boom. All right, let's add two and three to our factor bank because those are prime factors we've discovered. Um, anything we found along the way also gets added. We, we hit a six at one point. We hit an eight at one point. So both of those get added, six and eight. Now this last step is going to take some time as we got a lot of factors. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. We need to try out any combination of these numbers but multiply together to give us other numbers that haven't, haven't been banked yet. So let's just run through a few. How about 2 times 2? Oh, there we go. There's one already. 2 times 2 is, of course, 4. That hasn't been added yet. Uh, what about 2 times 2 times 2? 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. We already got that. What about 2 times 2 times 2 times 2? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's 16. We don't have that one yet. Let's go ahead and add the 16. Now let's work with this 3 over here. 2 times 3? 2 times 3 is 6. We already got that. What about 2 times 2 times 3? 2 times 2 times 3 is 12. We do not have that yet. Let's go ahead and add the 12. Uh, and what about... 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. That's 24. We do not have that either. So let's add 24. And that is every combination you can make using these prime factors down here. So that looks like we're done. We got 10 factors of 48 here. They are in order 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12, 16. Oh, sorry, I missed 8. Let's start over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, and 48. That is a wrap on factors of 48. Hope you guys uh, found this helpful. we got a bunch more videos like this. If you need some more practice, check them out. Uh, until next time, guys, have a great day.